In today's video, we've got two different boom arms or microphone stands that we're gonna do a direct comparison. We've got the Toner T20, and we're gonna compare that against one from InnoGear. And I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information. The InnoGear is currently $40 on Amazon, and the Toner is on sale for about 25 bucks on Amazon. But I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information. So let's go ahead and get started. The Toner T20 is made of steel material and the maximum adjustable angle of the arm stand is 180 degrees. Now this microphone stand can hold up to three and a half pounds. The scissor arm stand is 14 inches which could rotate 360 degrees with a maximum reach of 28 inches horizontally and 27 inches vertically. Now this one's supposedly a little bit more heavy duty than some of the other cheap ones out there. So the square tubing is 0.53 inches instead of 0.39. This does come with a two year warranty instruction manual. This does come with a pretty standard pop filter and a foam windscreen, cable ties. It also comes with a little plastic mount, your desk clamp, which does have some foam material there so it doesn't move around. Okay, so yeah, this definitely looks a little bit heavier duty than some of the other cheap boom arms that I've seen. You can see once you put the desk clamp on the bottom, it just kind of snaps into place and it lets you turn it to pretty much whatever angle you want. So I am gonna be testing this with the Blue Yeti microphone. Luckily, they do include an adapter. Okay, so that definitely fits the Blue Yeti microphone. And it seems to have no problem with holding the weight of the microphone itself. Okay, so far the toner boom arm is actually really nice for only 25 bucks. I definitely like what I'm seeing. Now let's take a look at the boom arm from InnoGear. Now the InnoGear microphone stand is also a scissor arm type with a built-in spring. And again, this is specifically made for the Blue Yeti microphone. This one's also made of a steel material with maximum adjustable angle of the arm at 180 degrees. This one also has a flexible and adjustable extension rod, just like the toner. It's compatible with the Blue Yeti, but also the Blue Snowball and Blue Yeti Nano. The single stand length is 14 inches and the square pipe diameter is 0.53 inches, just like the toner. Maximum vertical height is 27 inches. Maximum horizontal height is 28 inches. And the connecting rod connector is 5 8 inches. This one weighs 3.2 pounds where the toner weighs just slightly more at 3.78 pounds. Now it says this one only supports 3.5 pounds where the toner supports 4 pounds. So this one comes with a little bit different style of desk clamp. It actually feels a little bit smaller. User manual. You only get up to 18 months warranty on this one instead of two years like on the toner. Velcro cable ties. Okay, so this is definitely a little bit different style. I do like that you don't actually see the spring Holy cow, this thing is super hard to even move. There is a real small piece of foam there on the desk clamp. You can see the size difference, so that's something to keep in mind depending on what your setup is like.
Okay, so the first thing I notice about this one, it's definitely a lot harder to move around than the toner boom arm. I can't really see a way to adjust it so that it's not so tight. I mean, you really have to push on this thing to get it to move. This is, this is way too hard. I feel like I almost have to break it just to get it to move. Now it does seem to support the weight of the Blue Yeti microphone with no problems. I don't know, I really like the style of this one better than the toner, but functionality wise, I just don't think it's that close. The only way I could see buying this one over the toner boom arm is if you're not going to move your microphone very often and it just needs to stay in the same place. So I don't know, let me know in the comments below what you think. So as far as how much space they take up and height and length, they look pretty much identical. But as you can see, I think most people would prefer this style because then you don't have these springs in the way. I just feel like that'd be too easy to pinch your hand or just get it caught in cables or whatever. Having said that, so if I had to choose between the toner or Inogear, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with the toner just because it's cheaper and it's just easier to use. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.